Timber. Huh? They could, but it's it's just so iffy. Kunkka counters it. Yeah. Shadow Demon's quite Strong good against it. Spirit. Even Draw Ranger can silence through Sprout. Saw and... versus Undershock Storm Spirit mid. How does this matchup go? Storm versus it's Timber. Disrupt top. Oh, he's probably fine, but. Yeah, Bulldog going to be on the so run here. Damage. Maposhka trying to body block him. They might actually get this. He's going to turn and drop one stack of sticky pops the fairy fire. That'll heal him back up. Now King R actually taking a lot of damage. EGM, he's got boots first. He might be able to chase him down, but no, he backs off. Drops the spirit. Oh, spirit. <laughs> there you go. That's the first blood. EGM draws it. Very nice. Knowing his limits there, able to back up without taking any extra damage. And still a tough matchup. And even comparing to the safe laner, Strau pulling ahead of the life stealer uh, at least a little bit. Getting some decent space down bottom, but Afterlife definitely able to put some pressure on. Ake actually taking a lot of damage here. Lota forced to come off the creep wave and put some damage into the Nyx. Potential oh. kill, actually. Heal Bomb does a lot of damage, and Lota does secure the kill. Afterlife overstepping his bounds. Yeah, S4 is actually winning this lane now. Every time I look back there, he's, he's actually out pressuring the storm, and his CS is higher now. 33 CS versus the. Obviously, a lot of that was EGM. Oh, if he gets the stomp, he's dead. Oh my god, it barely connects. There's the Timber Chain in, Whirling Death. It's an easy setup. S4 gets credit. Now King R rotates, drops the Dispersion, but EGM nice and beefy. He'll just be able to walk away. The other side of it, Afterlife has rotated over. S4 gets hit by the stun. Ooh, pardon me, a little creep coming here to help him out, actually giving him more reactive stacks. I think S4 is pretty okay with that. Well, he lost his rune, though. That was his oh, rune, yeah. Man. Yeah, that was his haste rune. Nyx picked it up. Post got top now. Three stacks of Shadow Poison. Or no, that's sticky. They're on the same team, my right, god. This, yeah, this is an easy attacks. kill. Bulldog should still be able to chase him down here. Six stacks, now he gets one more. EGM on the way in. He's got a lot of movement speed, but now Zor Storm comes zipping across. But Posh is still somehow alive. Torn oh, actually man. keeps him alive a bit longer. Bulldog dies on the backside, and the Kunkka gets the deny into the neutral. It doesn't get much closer than death. Wow. A little unfortunate for them. They really felt like they had that. What really important run. for Storm that he got that kill, actually. Um, he, he just got level 6 from that, and he needs to win his lane again, but S4 is now very survival. Anytime Storm comes through, he's got enough mana to basically harass. Fight here, 1400 gold towards the Blink Dagger at 10 minutes. Definitely not too bad, given he's already got Tranquils and picked up an Infused Raindrop. Looks like mid is where the fight's gonna be, though. S4 manages to grab the Bounty Room, but it could cost him his life. Silence from the Drow Ranger. Sets up a kill for King R. It'll be Shadow Demon that gets credit for that one. Three to three at the 10 minutes. So he shows a mid, help the timber kill. And finally, that hero goes down. That's one of the best solutions they have to it until Nyx gets online. Yeah. Now Storm going in on the EGM. Echo Stomp gets canceled by the Vortex, and he's going to have an easy kill here. Undershock starting to get some momentum now. Him and Dragon. Because Storm doesn't care that much about his armor being reduced. This is pretty survivable, anyways. And he can jump on Elder Titan, do the pull. And usually yeah. all the time dies from that. Up top now, Ake caught by the support combo. Looks like X set it up, and now they'll be able to follow up easily. Shadow Demon getting credit for yet another kill. Wait, as uh, things get topsy turvy in this series, right now, Alliance, the heavy favorites, the 3.84 payout for Empire, as we might see an engagement mid. But uh, those bets are still live, and they'll stay live throughout the entire series. So things might fluctuate here. Under Shock, he'll get picked off mid. and. Well, that may tip things further into the Alliance scale. Nice pick up there, and they'll maybe transition this into a tier 1 tower push. Perfect kill there. Oh, fast armlets finish on life. Oh, they're going to find SD as well. He's yeah. so good. Nothing King R can do here. He gets off a, a offensive disruption there, but not going to be enough to save him. It'll be a quick 2 for nil to go with this tower. He tried. Didn't do anything. Work. They've got to land the stun, though. All right, here we go. Afterlife pops the Vendetta. Nobody going to initiate this. Doesn't go for the backstab damage, just opens up with the stun, zip in, drops the vortex. Loda able to armlet Tazu to survive initially. He will live for now. Now Bulldog with a lasso and Fest Bomb comes out. Afterlife could be the one that gets turned on, but no. Loda falls first. Now S4 with big damage, hops forward. Alliance have already lost two. They'll get a counter kill on King R, but now the boat connects on three. Ramsey's in the back line, laying in frost arrows as S4. Still relatively healthy, a lot of armor, trying to zone him out. Bulldog back in this fight. Oh, he didn't die. He's Empire a chance. Yeah, he just read the team fight. That's what it takes to be a conquer player. You gotta be confident. Uh oh, sentry wards down. They see the Nyx coming. Afterlife still gets off an initiation. They go in on to Ake. No shallow grave this fight. Alliance losing him straight away. Now has four falls as well. Defense disruption. Resets for the Nyx. Now it's Loda on the side. He's taking a lot of damage here. Nowhere to go. No way to live. A triple kill for Ramses as Bulldog goes in deep, gets X'd back. Will find a kill on the Nyx, but it's a one for four. Back to back. Threatening things he can do here. Smoke up now. Smoked in, yeah. He's thinking about this. Does have an infest bomb. Finds King R. 
This should be a pretty easy pick for Alliance. Loda will get credit for the kill. They had a torrent as well as an echo stomp area of the map. They may not realize, but they're, they're also not ready to fight. They don't have lasso for 10 points. Yeah. They're just now sending the spirit. They didn't move in the slightest. They, they... I think it's... Ooh. I think he has to BKB this game as soon as that is. Yeah. All these in trouble. And this will show us why. Just look how fast he dies. Oh my. With the break applied, it's it's just like watching a support hero fall, honestly. Man, that was... That's true, to be fair. But... BKB not going to save you from all that physical damage, but yeah, I think he has to go something defensive here. And just blood, even Bloodstone eggs. Oh wow, Life Stealer is going to oh, die down man. bottom. Silence for the Drow Ranger. Safe. Go a little bit defensive. Kind of has to honestly, because if Alliance just gets on top of him, then he's probably going to die. Never sells the big damage source really. Bulldog just gets evaporated in the top lane. Things looking very good for Empire here, Purge. These odds starting to shift a little bit. This game definitely within their grasp. They're going to set up down bottom on the S4. The Kunkka combo oh right gosh. into a Drow Ranger. <laughs> really is like watching a Sapathian Fest Bomb inside the Bat Rider. Scan comes out. That is a Radiant Scan, it looks like. Here's the initiation. Great silence from Ramsey. He pops the BKB, catches three. The Infest Bomb doesn't really do any damage. They lose EGM straight away as Undershot jumps into the back line. Ake will grave himself. Now the lasso comes out from Bulldog. They're going to be able to chase him down. I think Undershot should find this kill. Very good for Alliance. They did lose their Kunkka on the backside. S4 trying to make it out. Caught by a stun. Stat Shadow Poison you know, loses the stacks there. But a disruption. Maybe they can still catch this. Ramsey's on the way. Finds the silence. And there's the suicide that we were hoping for last time. One for four. Well-rounded build. Has a lot of damage still. But now a lot of ways to disengage. Nine seconds of magic immunity. Really like this here. Bat Rider. Uh-oh. He gets caught with a surprise inside. X and the Torrent combo. That'll be the end of the Bulldog. Man, you mentioned this in the draft, but... Kunkka is just so effective against Bat Rider. Yeah, against any mobile hero, he's just yeah. so overpowered. Loda, he's gonna get caught here as well, taking a lot of damage. Does Armlet Toggle to buy himself some time, but damage is just too much. Drow Ranger getting credit for that one. Kunkka catches another hero, Dazzle X in the Torrent combo. Silence is there, and they're just dropping like flies. Alliance loses three just. This is just amazing. Their, their heroes just worked out so good against their opponents. Timbersaw has been really limited in what he can do due to Storm Spirit from the laning stage, and then in the mid game he has to deal with X and uh -oh. Ranger Silence. Or get it out on Undershock. They're going to have yet another tool to lock down S4. Nothing that Timbersaw could do. He gets popped again. Now down in the bottom lane, Lasso on the King R. That'll pull the Shadow Demon deep into the base, but there's no follow-up damage. He's still reasonably healthy. Flame Break will tickle him down. BKB Ramsey's just going straight for objectives. Not much Alliance can do here. They will save the buybacks for now. A couple are available. Bulldog just barely makes it back to the well. Alliance still playing this very safe. Ramsey's just sieging from the low ground. We'll get some illusions, compliments of the Disruptor. That's not a Disruptor. The Shadow Demon using Disruption. Ramsey's just four stabs away as Loda comes in. Oh boy, they're going to shop the Shadow Purge on him. Bulldog zoned out in the back line. Loda will be able to infest and survive. Storm comes in, drops the Bat Rider. And they should be able to bring down Loda here once more, right into a silence. Man, they have that combo set up so well. Disruption right into the gust. Just there's nothing you can do against it. GG is called an Empire. Take a quick game one. Their Drow Strat works like a charm. Alongside the Kunkka Shadow Demon support duo, 26 to 10. Empire, one win away from moving into the grand finals of uh, the Global Grand Masters. It was such a convincing game by them. They, this is one of the best executed draw strats I've seen in a long time. And I kind of felt like Alliance was picked into a corner the whole game. They felt very reactionary. I mean, their opening was Elder Titan Batrider, and it led to some good early game fights, but we didn't really see that much value out of Elder Titan past the laning stage just because of the mobility and the disables and the X mark.